guys, it's Jake's Tutorials, and today I will be showing you my second tutorial and hopefully a very long series of After Effects tutorials. So what we're going to be learning how to do today is a simple um, intro, if you want to call that, a fa it's text that comes out or in, um, whatever you want, way you want to say that, and it fades out as it goes in. So, and obviously it's going to look better. I didn't spend time centering it. You probably will. So, if you want to learn how to do that, it looks pretty cool. So, here we go. First, you want to go into New Composition. So, Composition, New Composition. I use 1920 by 1080. And I'm just going to call, call that Comp 2. And make it 5 seconds to... 10 seconds max. I use 5 seconds because mine is, only has 4 words or text layers. So just hit OK. And you're going to select the text tool. You're going to, um, whoops. You're going to type your first, um, whatever you want your, whatever you want to appear first. In this case, it's Chase Tutorials. And I'm using a different font. Impact is the font, if you're wondering. So, I'm not going to spend much time centering it. I'm just going to keep it like that. And that looks pretty good. So next, what you want to do is go into Layer, New, and then Camera. And I'm just going to call this Camera. Leave that as default, default preset or 35. Just hit OK. And then you're going to want to hit F4, which will bring up the 3D layer option and you're going to go into your text and you're just going to hit 3D layered option to make it so it's 3D so looks pretty nice and I'm just going to select the selection tool again or V and then what you want to do is you want to drop down your text in this case it's Jake's tutorials and then you're going to drop down the transform you want to see position and opacity. If you don't see it all in one, you can just bring that up um, to where you need to. And this is pretty good. So now what you want to do is you want to go to the very beginning. And then you want to hit um, the stopwatch in the position to set a keyframe. And then you're going to hold shift. And you're going to drag the Z to where you don't see the text. So, um, mine is a pretty big name, so mine doesn't show the text at around negative 1880. It could be different with you if your font's smaller or if your word is smaller. It all depends. You don't have to use the same one. Just in my case, that's what I'm using. So, um, this is the first keyframe. So, you're doing good for now, I guess. So now what you want to do is you want to move um, forward. Um, I'm just going to do it around here. You can always edit it by moving the frames, you know. <clears throat> and then you're going to go right to wherever you are. You're going to go to the Z axis again and you're going to select, you're going to put it to zero, which will create a new keyframe. I have no idea why that font just changed. Um, well, that looks kind of cool. I'm just going to keep it like that. So, that's Informal Roman. You should have that on a Windows installed computer. So, anyways, moving along. So, now what you want to do is you want to move um, kind of further along. And you want to hit the triangle or whatever that is. And you want to make a new keyframe. And again, you can edit this later. I'm just going to do some random thing. And then you're going to want to go into the Z-axis, and you're just going to hold Shift. And you're going to kind of pull that away so that it's kind of small. And so let's see how that looks. It kind of comes down. And then you might want to move this a little further. I kind of like mine fast. And maybe a little bit further. And I think that's good. 
So now that it's all good, you might have seen that in this one it kind of fades out as it goes. So uh, what you want to do is go into the opacity and you're going to go around the third or this one and you're going to click the stopwatch on the opacity make sure it's 100% and then you're going to move a little bit along and you're going to change this to zero and I hope that makes sense please comment below if, you, if that doesn't make sense and so it kind of fades out don't just create a keyframe right here to make it a zero because that would make all all these keyframes um, blank or invisible yeah so you don't want to do that now if you want to create a little better effect you can go to this keyframe right there and you can just push F9 and that will create the easy in, easy ease in so um and you can always get rid of that but I kind of like that effect kind of makes it look a little better so that's totally your choice so now that you've gotten the first text layer done you're just gonna get that drop down pull it up again you're gonna select your first one you're gonna control D and then do it three, four times, however many text ones you want. And so that's going to kind of make it a little bit bolder. And so you're not going to want that, obviously. You're going to push the first layer. You're going to hold Control and select those four or however many you created. And just push U. And you can always drag this up. So what you want to do is you're going to keep this one the same, then you're going to just drag, whoops, you want to make sure that the second one is only selected, and then you want to drag this one to around um, the last frame, then you want to select the next one and do the same, and you can kind of just mess around with this, this is just what I like, and so it will create kind of the same text and it'll keep doing that you can always of course create as many layers as you want and I'm only using four for the moment <clears throat> or at the moment so you're going to want to go to your second one to where you can see it and you want to double click it to change it I'm just going to put tutorials and you can send in that. I'm not going to do that right now. Then you can go to the next one and um, help. Then the last one. And I'll move that further. And then subscribe. So this is how it's going to look. So it's going to come in and fade out so it looks pretty nice and the last thing you can do as an optional you can always add a ramp to the text layer which you can select it go into layer or actually no effect and generate and then ramp but um, so I guess I'll just show you what that looks like I'm going to kind of create a lighter color for this and then you're going to create the second the end color as black and I'll show you what that looks like so it kind of gives it a better effect or color so you just mess around with that and this is going to be the end of the tutorial so if you liked it please comment rate subscribe and if you want to request a tutorial on any Adobe program just request it and if you want me to start doing series of other Adobe programs, also request that in the comment box below, or you can PM me. So that's the end of this tutorial. Please comment, rate, subscribe, and I hope to make some more Adobe After Effects tutorials soon.